Oliver Morgan, 21. Hamlet, Shakespeare, Hamlet. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether to snobler in the mind, to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing, end them. To die, to sleep. No more and by a sleep to say we end a heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep. To sleep a chance to dream. Hey, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. For there's the respect that makes of calamity so long a life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the law's delay, the insolence of office and the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes when he himself might his own quiet is make with a bare bodkin? Who would fought belt? to grunt and sweat under a weary life but that the dread of something after death the undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others that we know not of This conscience does make cowards of us all. And thus the native hue of resolution is sickly o'er with a pale cast of thought. And enterprise is of great pith. And moment with this regard, the currents turn awry and lose the name of action. Oliver Morgan, 21, Philadelphia, Rodney Swanner, Joe Miller. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, forget everything you've seen on television and in the movies. There's not going to be any last minute surprise witnesses. Nobody's going to break down on the stand with a tearful confession. You're going to be presented with a simple fact. Andrew Beckett was fired. You'll hear two explanations as to why he was fired, ours and theirs. It is up to you to sift through layer upon layer of truth until you have determined for yourselves which version sounds the most true. There are certain points I must prove to you. Point number one, Andrew Beckett was, is a brilliant lawyer, great lawyer. Point number two, Andrew Beckett, afflicted with a debilitating disease, made the understandable, the personal, made the legal choice to keep the matter of his illness to himself. Point number three, Andrew Beckett's employers found out about his illness. And ladies and gentlemen, the illness that I'm referring to is AIDS. Point number four, they panicked. And in their panic, they did what most of us would like to do with AIDS, which is to get it and everyone who has it as far away from the rest of us as possible. Now, what his employers did may seem reasonable to you. It does to me. After all, AIDS is a deadly, incurable disease. But no matter how you come to judge, Charles Wheeler and his partners in ethical, moral, and in human terms, the fact of the matter is when they fired Andrew Beckett because he has AIDS, they broke the law.
Sometimes it snows in April Sometimes I feel so bad, so bad Sometimes I wish life was never ending and all good things they say never last And all good things they say never last And love, it isn't love Till it's past